Hi there, Gemini, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast. For the week of July the 13th through to the 19th, I went ahead, shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Gemini. First up, we have the Four of Wands reversed. And next, we have Major Arcana of the World in the upright. And next, we have Major Arcana of the Fool upright. And then we have um, the Nine of Cups in the upright. And lastly, we have the Page of Wands upright. So let's see what's going on here, Gemini. If your overall energy, you have that of the Four of Wands reversed. The Four of Wands is such beautiful energy. One of the best cards of the Minor Arcana that even reversed, it still holds much of the same meaning as the upright. The upright position is about reaching a summit, a certain level of success where we can say, okay, fine, we're here. We've done it. We have not completed everything to the very end, but there's a certain level of success that has been completed. So even when the card is reversed, sometimes this could just be like, maybe there's a delay in um, the final outcome here, but it's sort of like something's already done, but it's maybe not, doesn't have the icing. Like the cake's made, but the icing's not on it. That kind of thing. For others of you, sometimes this can represent a little bit of an upset in the household because the uh, Four of Wands in the upright can point to a house, a home situation, like a family, a house situation. When the card is inverted, sometimes this can point to someone in the house isn't quite happy um, or it could be putting a little bit of a damper on things. It could be, say, for example, if you've got a child at home that's being really cranky and just sort of spoiling things, but not to the point where it's really, you know, it's such good energy that you really can't spoil this. But it could be something's putting a little bit of a damper on uh, the home situation. But for others of you, you're just waiting for the icing here on the cake <laughs> to close out a cycle. Look at this. This is beautiful. Right off the hop, right in the beginning, we do have the beautiful energies here of the world in the upright position. This is about closing out a cycle that needed to come to its end anyway. It's the natural end of a cycle. This is where in the story of the tarot, we've gone through the beginning from the fool's journey all the way to the end of something. This could be representative of, I call it the graduation card. This could be when we graduate and we're, we're finished with our scholastic studies and now we're moving into a career, our work life. This could be where we have had a long-standing relationship or marriage. You know, we've been together for 25, 30 years, and this could be the end of the relationship, and this is now the divorce papers being signed. This could be, this is not something that comes up kaboom. If that, that was happening in your situation, you'd already be aware of the fact that there was a divorce happening. But this could also be um, raising your family in a, a home, and this is your, you know, family home, and now you're selling it. You've owned it for 30 years, and now you're selling it to downsize. It could be something like that. Whatever it is, going to be different for all of you because it's just a general read. Remember, but you're closing out a cycle in some aspect of your life. Some of you, it's your career. Some of you could be retiring or, you know, uh, passing the baton to someone else. You're just moving on to another phase of life. And definitely you are, because look at this with Paul Lewis. It is the beautiful energies of the fool. It's right there. Remember I said the fool's journey begins. So this is where something is ending, uh, Gemini, and something is immediately beginning. So whatever it is, if you know, you've just left school and now you're gonna be going into a career. If you've just, you know, left a, a home, you could be moving somewhere. It's just like instantly you're you're off on a new adventure. And isn't that so Gemini? <laughs> Geminis love their adventures. So this is a beautiful, uh, beautiful and pretty intense uh, week, the start of the week for you here, Gemini. Then moving towards the weekend, we have the beautiful energies of the Nine of Cups in the upright position. Pick your wish, Gemini. If you have a special wish, could come true this week for you. Um, could be a personal little wish, or it could be a, even a big wish. But this is all about the celebration of it. Some of you are celebrating, you know, this this big uh, ending here. And others of you could be, you know, celebrating something with a loved one, maybe celebrating a, a relationship, a new relationship or something like that. Whatever the situation is, you're really enjoying yourself. Just don't overdo it because this can sometimes be the energy of the excess. So just don't do it to excess and all things should be good. And the last card you have up is the 
um, page of wands in the upright position. This is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is fire energy, that of Aries, Leo, Sag, sun, moon, or rising, male or female. Now, I love this energy, I really do. And this is right at the very end of the week for you. This is actually a pretty brilliant uh, reading here, Gemini. I hope it resonates for every single one of you. This is exciting news coming towards you, Gemini, right at the very end of the week. If you've been waiting to hear uh, on the... Um, romantic front if you've been waiting to hear from someone it could be right at the very well you do have the wish card and this is preceding the wish card so for some of you it's about um, a romantic interest could be contacting you at week's end for some of you it could be a fire sign it could be any sign really though and uh, the page of wands is just exciting news coming in maybe you're just waiting to hear about something it could be even waiting on a parcel or waiting on a delivery you're waiting on something and it is coming towards you right at the very end of the week and i have a feeling it's something that you have wished for you wish to hear this exciting news or this message to come through to you beautiful reading here gemini i really hope it helped you and if it did please feel free to like share and subscribe and I will see you next week. Bye-bye for now.